Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am continuing coding and decoding. Uh, that is uh, number or symbol coding. Uh, guys, these kind of problems are very important in examination point of view. Whatever the competitive examinations you are preparing, uh, for these uh, these kind of problems are very important uh, in uh, logical reasoning. So you have to be very much careful about this one. And uh, these are very important as well as simple. Why? Because uh, these are uh, direct questions. Uh, it will not take much more time uh, to solve these kind of problems. You have to read the conditions carefully. In the previous session, we also discussed a few problems related to this tabular form kind of problems, but uh, their conditions are not given. But in this uh, uh, session, we are going to discussing about uh, the problems uh, which are having some certain conditions, uh, certain conditions. This is a table, no need of uh, taking, uh, looking at about, uh, this uh, particular numerals and uh, symbols code, right? Letter or symbols. Uh, uh, in the first row, numbers are given, whereas in the second row, their codes are given, right? Below that, some conditions are given. You have to read those conditions carefully. Once read the uh, first condition. If the first digit as well as last digit is odd, if first and last both are odd, then it is to be coded as X. It is to be coded as X. And next, if first digit as well as last digit is even, then it is to be coded as dollar. It is to be coded as a dollar. If the last digit is zero, if the last digit is zero, then it is to be coded as a hash. Basically, zero is not, a, not an even number and not an odd number. We should not consider zero as even unless and until he mentioned in the given problem. Now, see the first question. Here, once check it out, first digit and last digit. First and last both are odd number. First and last both are odd number. If first and last both are odd number, then it is to be coded as X. It is to be coded as X. 5 and 9, both are coded as X. And uh, remaining numbers which are there in the question, you have to write down their respective codes based on the given table. Here, first one is 4. 4 is equal to A. 4 is equal to A. After that, 6. 6 is equal to F. 6 is equal to F. 8 is equal to. 8 is equal to K. Next, 3. 3 is equal to star. 3 is equal to star. This is our required answer for this question. See here, X, A, F, K star, yeah, you can eliminate this one. You can eliminate this one. Why? Why? Because uh, first and last must be X uh, and after that A, F, K star. Option C is the right answer for this question. These are very simple once you understand the conditions. Uh, understanding of conditions and uh, implementing those in uh, problems. That is very simple. It will not take much more time to solve these kind of problems. Let's move on to the second question. Conditions are same conditions, first and last odd number, then both are coded as X. Even number, dollar. If it is zero, that is a hash. Now, if you look at this one, last digit is zero, then it is to be coded as hash. So, last digit is hash. You can eliminate option C and option D directly without any checking of anything. Why? Because uh, here, last, uh, last one is not hash, right? So, this one is uh, eliminated. Option C and D. Now, check it out. 7. 7 is equal to. What is 7 here? E. 7 is equal to E. Percentage. And next, uh, sorry, uh, 1 is equal to. 1 is equal to percentage. 1 is equal to percentage. 3. 3 is equal to again star. 3 is equal to star. 5. 5 is equal to B. 5 is equal to B. And last 4 is equal to 4 is equal to A. Therefore, your answer will be 3, sorry, E percentage star B A hash. That is uh, option A. Option A is the right answer. As none of this is there, that is the reason why you have to check it out each and every option. As none of this is not there, uh, there is no need of checking for remaining options. Why? Because uh, here the first uh, code is itself E. None of the options is started with E. 
uh, we already eliminated option C and D. So directly your answer will be option A is the right answer. Option A. Let's move on to the next question. See here. 7 and 2. Here first digit is 7 and last digit is 2. Here first and last both are odd. It is not following the condition 1. It is not following condition 2. Why? Because uh, first and last even number. 7 is not even. And uh, last digit is 0. Last digit is not 0. It is not following uh, any of these three conditions. Uh, not applying any of the given conditions. Uh, if it is not applying any of the given conditions, uh, then directly you have to write down their respective codes uh, without any hesitation. 7 is equal to, that is E. 7 is equal to E. After that, 6. 6 is equal to F. 6 is equal to F. After that, 5. 5 is equal to B. 5 is equal to B. And next, 0. 0 is equal to R. 8. 8 is equal to K. 8 is equal to K. And finally, 2. 2 is equal to at the rate. 2 is equal to at the rate. This is your required answer. Once checked out, where is your option? Last one is at the rate. You can eliminate option C. And next, uh, first, uh, first one is G. You can eliminate option A. So, E, F, B, R. You can eliminate option B. E, F, B, R, K at the rate. Option D is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here. It is very clear that first digit and last digit both are even. If both are even, those are coded as with the dollar. First and last both are coded with the dollar. Why? Because uh, these are even numbers. Now you can write down their respective codes for the remaining numbers. 8 is equal to, what is meant by 8? K. Next, 7. 7 is equal to E. 7 is equal to E. 6 is equal to F. 6 is equal to F. 9 is equal to, what is 9? M. 9 is equal to M. Now your required answer will be dollar K E F M dollar. First and last must be dollar. Here none of the options except uh, option D. First and last are dollar. As none of these options is there, that is the reason why you have to check out this option. Dollar K. K E F M dollar. So your required answer is uh, option D is the right answer for this question. Here you have to apply condition 2. Condition 2 is applied. Next question. See here 3 and 9. First digit and last digit both are odd. First digit and last digit both are odd. If first and last both are odd, it is to be coded as uh, X. Both are coded as X. First and last both are X. Now you can eliminate option A, option B and option C also. Right? Option C also eliminated. And option D also eliminated. Why? Because here none of these options, none of the given options is here ending with the first and last uh, both are coded with the X. Why? Because uh, here first digit and last digit both are odd numbers. That is the reason why both are coded as uh, X and remaining as per the table. But in the given options A, B, C, D first and last are not X. So you can uh, directly cancel this one. Option E is your answer. Option E. If you want to check it, uh, write down the answer 6. 6 is nothing but uh, F. Next 4 is equal to 4 is equal to a. 8 is equal to 8 is equal to K and uh, 1 is equal to percentage. This is your required answer. X F A K percentage X. This is the answer but this is not there in the options. None of this. Option E is the right answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.